Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of explaining fractions and what makes a fraction a fraction. This is standard 3.3c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the 2019 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and then unpause it and we will check our work together. So we have two different circles. We have one that's model R, one that is model T. Each are broken up into five parts, and each have one of those five parts shaded. But only one statement is true. So let's kind of look at each of these statements, and we'll learn a little bit more about fractions while we do so. So A says the shaded parts, so that's this part right here, and then this part right here, of model R and T are different sizes. That is correct. This model R is slightly larger than the model T shaded portion, but each model represents the same fraction as a whole. So that is our big question here. Model T looks like something that we are used to. So if we look at model T, we've got one, two, three, four, so remember when we are looking at a fraction, we have two different numbers. The numerator is going to be the number of selected pieces, or the, the number, in this case, of shaded pieces. So we have one shaded piece. And then the denominator is not the number of unshaded pieces, but the number of total pieces. So that's your total altogether. We've got five. So this fraction is 1 out of 5, or 1 fifth. The question comes is, what is the fraction of model R? So one thing that we need to know about fractions is that all pieces, and I'll write this because it's very important, all pieces, all portions, however you slice it up, must be the same, must be equivalent. Now, they can be the same, they could be equivalent if they're slightly different shapes. There's different ways you can cut rectangles and squares where they end up being the same size, um, but they are different shapes. But we need to have all of the pieces the same size. If not, we cannot describe it as a fraction. And so if we're looking at model R, look how big this big chunk is right here. And then look how tiny this little chunk is right here. This little chunk that I just shaded in, it probably can fit three or four times inside the big shaded piece. So model R is not a fraction. Even though it does have five pieces, even though it's got one piece that is shaded in, it is not a, piece, a fraction because all pieces are not the same size. This one is way too big. So we can say A is wrong. Because each model represents the same fraction is incorrect. Because remember, model R is not a fraction. B says, the shaded part of model R cannot be written as the fraction one-fifth because the parts are not all equal in size. Well, that looks to be exactly what we just discussed. So I am pretty sure that is going to be my answer. As always, before we select it, let's look at C and D because of either of those give us pause, we might need to go back and look at B again. C, the shaded part of model T is one-fourth because the parts are all equal in size. Well, the parts are all equal in size, but this is incorrect. Now, I can tell you where they got the one-fourth from. The one is easy. That is the one shaded part, but this fourth is a common mistake because what sometimes students will do is they will look at the unshaded pe the portions. And so remember the numerator in this case is the shaded, so that's the one, but the denominator is not the unshaded. The denominator is the total, including both shaded and sh unshaded. It's everything together, not just the ones you didn't select for the numerator. So that is incorrect. And then D. The total number of parts in model R is 5, so one-fifth of model R is shaded. This is correct, but it is not one-fifth because, once again, it's not a fraction. They are not equal in size, so the answer is B.